The text engraving tool allows you to insert text onto your panel in a variety of fonts, colors, and styles. For this demonstration, I will insert text in the top right corner of our sample panel as well as discuss the importance of choosing the right engraving tool for your text. I will begin by selecting the text engraving tool from the top of the screen. Next, I will press M to position the text where I want it. Once I hit OK, the text engraving properties window will appear. I will start by typing my text into the text field. As I type, the text appears in the preview window as it will look on my panel in the current selected font. Once I have my text entered, I will select the font that I want to use. In the font drop-down menu, there are over 20 different fonts. You will also notice that next to each font, there is a stroke count. This refers to how many strokes it takes the tool to create the thickness and detail of that font. A font that uses one stroke is typically leaner with little detail. As the stroke count goes up, so does the thickness and the detail of the font. I will choose Helvetica Bold, which is a four-stroke font. I will refer back to this when we are ready to select the engraving tool. Next, I will choose an infill color, or I have the option not to use an infill color, so it would be raw aluminum, even if I choose a colored panel. But for this demonstration, I will choose black. Now, I will choose the size of the text. I would like my text height to be 3.6 millimeters. Next is the X scaling option, which allows me to stretch the text along the X axis. I will use an X scaling setting of one of our sample panels. Front Panel Designer allows you to rotate and incline the text, giving it an italic effect. However, I will leave the text as it is for this panel. I choose a line spacing of 1.5 millimeters. This brings me to the final and possibly the most important step, choosing the proper engraving tool. This step is most important when using a font with multiple strokes. Using a tool that is too small can result in parts of the panel protruding through the text. Choosing a tool that is too large can result in text that is bunched together and is difficult to read. The best way to find the right tool is through trial and error using the preview window. As you can see, when I select the 0.2 millimeter engraving tool, the text is not solid. This would result in raised portions of the material showing through the text on the actual panel. Now, when I select the 1.5 millimeter cutter tool, the text is too big and difficult to read. Even when using the 0.6 millimeter tool, the text is still unclear in some spots. However, when I select the 0.4 millimeter engraving tool, my text is both solid and clear. Finally, I hit OK and my text is positioned on my panel.